What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23, coming to you today with another Warframe video, and today we're going to be getting into some more basic stuff with the game to help out some of you newer players with Warframe, and also some of you guys who may be coming back into the game and don't remember a whole lot about it. Now, we've been covering a lot, now we're going to actually talk about one of the ways to get a little bit more uh, in terms of mod slots out of your Warframe and your different weapons. So today we're actually gonna be talking about supercharging your Warframe and your weapons. This is pretty quick, it shouldn't take too long. You will need a couple of different uh, materials for this though. So let's just go into our arsenal right now with our Excalibur. And again, we just got the basic Braddon, Sycorus, and the Skana equipped. And that should serve us pretty well for what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna go into the upgrade screen for Excalibur, and you can see here we have a 30 mod capacity with him. Now I have I have um, Excalibur leveled up all the way to 30, which is the maximum rank, and you get more capacity points as you rank up your Warframe. So there actually though is a way to get your capacity up to 60, which is going to allow you to put more mods on your Warframe, put higher level mods and higher cost mods on there. So what we're gonna do, if you look on the lower right hand side, you'll see there. Are are actions you can take. So we're going to press R3. We're going to go into the actions menu. You can see there we can double our mod capacity with an upgrade. We can also change our polarization and we can swap the polarity between different slots. This is a little bit more advanced in terms of polarization. I'm not going to get into this too in depth. All I'm going to say is that you will need a forma to do this. And when you use that forma in the in a slot, you can actually add or modify the polarity that exists in a slot. So let's just, for example, you can see here we've got polarity in both of these slots. We could change that, or we could add a polarity to a blank slot, but we would need a forma to do that. There's a couple different ways you can get forma. You can farm for them. You can get blueprints for them in certain missions. I've actually got a blueprint that I got out of a void mission that I'm going to be using later on. I can add a forma to one of my slots. Uh, or you can buy them with platinum. If you're really lazy and don't want to wait or farm or grind, you can spend 20 platinum and buy a forma. Now, word to the wise, when you use that forma on your Warframe, it's going to basically reset your Warframe to level zero. You're going to have to rank them up all over again. So you want to be careful when doing that. Make sure you definitely want to put that forma slot on your Warframe. And that'll that'll play into your build a little bit later on when you want to do higher level in-game content. You want to put a couple of different forma on your Warframe so that you can have a lot more mod capacity when it comes to cutting some of those capacity uh, costs in half. So that's a uh, form of sort of in a nutshell. We'll get into that later on in the game when I get into the more advanced stages. But right now I wanted to talk about upgrading your mod capacity. So what you're gonna need for this is an Orican reactor. Now you can get blueprints for these. You can also buy them for platinum. Um, sometimes they'll drop in certain areas. Now what you're gonna do here is if you have that Orican reactor, you can apply it to your Warframe and it's gonna double your Warframe uh, mod slots. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, why are you doing this with Excalibur? Well, I happen to like Excalibur. I use him quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and use that upgrade. It's going to ask me if I want to install that Oricon Reactor. I'm going to say yes. And boom, my capacity is now 60. That's going to allow me to put a lot more mods on Excalibur and use a lot more higher level mods on Excalibur. I happen to like Excalibur. I think he's a very well-rounded frame. I've been using him quite a bit, so I don't really have a problem spending that Oricon Reactor on him. Uh, plus, I don't really have an issue with going out and grinding more of them, so I'm sure I can get some later on. But that's one thing I will note, guys, is definitely put a, use a reactor on a Warframe you like. Once you find one you really like using, one that you're really effective with, go ahead and, and prioritize that for um, upgrading your mod capacity. It's definitely going to help you out quite a bit. So we can do the same thing with our weapons. Now I've got the Sycorus, I've got the Skana, I've got the Bratton. Uh, I have one Orican Catalyst, which is something different than the reactor. You'll need that to actually upgrade your weapons, and you kind of go about getting those the same way. You can get re, uh, blueprints for them. You can also buy them for platinum. There's also spots you can farm them. Uh, for this one, though, I'm not going to put it on the Bratton, because I don't see myself using the Bratton much after I get it leveled up. It's a really good, well-rounded weapon that you can use throughout most of the game, but I have this other shotgun that I actually picked up. Um, on the market, I bought the blueprint for it, and I built it. This is the Hex Shotgun. This thing is an absolute monster uh, for a weapon you can buy a blueprint for and craft pretty early in the game. It works very well, and it works for a lot of the different enemies you'll face in the game. So we're going to go in with the Hex, and even though I don't have this maxed out yet, you can see I've got 21 capacity. It is a rank 21 weapon right now. I want to go ahead and spend my Oregon Catalyst on this, because I know this is a weapon I'm going to wind up using a lot uh, in the game, and you can see there, upgrade again. We have an Oricon Catalyst. 
Uh, you can also polarize your weapons uh, with those forma if you want to add polarization slots, and that's going to be very important, especially for endgame play. But I'm going to save that for a later guide, like I said. That's a little advanced for right now. We're just kind of covering the basics. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to upgrade. And it's going to ask us if we want to install our Oricon Catalyst. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And it's going to take my capacity up to 42. Because I'm only level 21, it basically doubles that. So now I can put a lot more mods on my heck, even though I'm still leveling it up. And it's going to come in handy um, against a lot of different enemies. So we can go ahead and throw on this uh, Shotgun Savvy now. We can put on this Cleanse Infected now. And then we can also put on, uh, actually I already got Blunderbuss on there, but you can see there we can add a lot more mods. We actually have a couple of gold mods on there, and this is going to allow us to have a lot more capacity for our weapons. So that's pretty much it, guys. You can do that on your on every single weapon you have. Um, I believe you can also do that on your companions. Let's see if it'll allow you to do that, or I might have already actually done it. I have, okay. So I've already done it on this guy. Um, so you can see there, he's already got 60 capacity. So it's going to help you just overall be a lot more effective when you're using those on your Warframe and your different weapons. It's going to allow you to carry more mods. And hopefully if you're modding, you know, doing your modding fusion and whatnot, your mods are going to be costing a lot more. And it's going to help you fit more of those into your uh, your build. So hope you guys have found this um, informative and helpful. Uh, if you guys have any other tips or anything you'd like to leave down below, any you veteran players who might watch these who have anything to add about them. Um, just anything in general when it comes to supercharging your Warframe and your weapons, uh, feel free to put it down below. Um, we're definitely all about trying to help out people play the game and enjoy it a little bit more. Like I said, the most important thing is just to use those, um, you know, use that supercharge on weapons and Warframes you actually like to use. Don't waste it on something you don't, you're not sure about because you might regret that later on. And it does take a little bit of time to grind those reactors and catalysts. So keep that in mind, guys. Anyways, I hope you found the video helpful. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll see you again next time.